How's it going, everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and everything Marvel Cinematic Universe. Things are getting super exciting as Phase 4 has officially started. We got the third episode for WandaVision just a couple of days ago, and we have so many exciting future Marvel projects that have already been announced by Marvel Studios themselves, such as Spider-Man Homecoming 3, which as of right now remains titleless. Hopefully that changes soon. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, The Fantastic Four, Black Panther 2, and plenty of of other awesome shows and movies coming very soon. I mentioned these specific titles because I do believe that all of these multiverse films will eventually lead to the introduction and MCU debut of Victor Von Doom, aka Doctor Doom. We have some recent reports that we'll get into stating that Doctor Doom may be coming to the MCU a lot sooner than we thought, and I personally think that WandaVision is going to set up Doctor Doom in a very big way, and then Doctor Strange 2 as well could be his first official debut in the Marvel Cinematic Universe before going on to his own movie, which could be a main role in Black Panther 2. So in this video, I will break down how I think WandaVision will set up Doctor Doom, how he'll debut in Doctor Strange 2, his connection, of course, to the Fantastic Four, which has been officially announced, and how the Fantastic Four could debut in Ant-Man 3, Quantumania, all leading up to Black Panther 2, where Doom could be a main character, and of course, the battle between the Fantastic Four and Doom himself. So let's start out with WandaVision and how I think think Doctor Doom is definitely going to be set up in future episodes. Now, the first few episodes of WandaVision haven't really dove into the witchcraft side of it yet. Yes, Wanda, aka the Scarlet Witch, is using reality warping powers, but the Scarlet Witch per se hasn't exactly been seen yet. Now, for those who may not know, Doctor Doom is very heavily tied to witchcraft and Mephisto. Doctor Doom is one of the greatest sorcerers that the Marvel Universe has ever seen. But it all starts with his mother, Cynthia Von Doom, who I think we actually might see in the WandaVision series, and Mephisto. Some time ago, we got some leaked photos for the WandaVision series that showed a bunch of witches. Among those was the nosy neighbor Agnes in a full witch attire, which basically confirms that she is indeed Agatha Harkness, which we really didn't have any doubts about. Now, Agatha herself is an extremely powerful witch who can live for a very long time. Key point being, she was alive during the Salem Witch Trials. But in these photos, I actually think that one of these people could be Cynthia Von Doom, the mother of Doctor Doom. And this would be a great way for Marvel to connect Agatha Harkness to Cynthia Von Doom, especially since I believe that Agatha Harkness in the WandaVision series is working for the demon Mephisto. Now, Cynthia was born into a Romanian clan in Latveria. She married Warner Von Doom, and together they had their son, Victor. Cynthia was learned and tutored in magic and the dark arts, communicating with demons and casting spells. And Cynthia's people faced constant persecution at the hands of the Baron and his men. And in an effort to fight back and protect her people, she made a deal deal with the demon Mephisto, promising him her soul in return for power. So Cynthia went and started to kill the Baron's men, but unbeknownst to her, the magic she was using also killed every child in the village, which was a part of Mephisto's plan the whole entire time. Of course, she was horrified at what she did, and she renounced her powers, but then she died due to one of the guardsmen stabbing her. Dying in her husband's arms, she made him promise that Victor would never walk the same path as her. When she died, her soul was trapped in Mephisto's realm to be tortured for all eternity. Fast forward to the future and now a grown-up Victor Von Doom and King of Latveria being very learned in the mystic arts. Every Midsummer's Eve, when the barriers between Earth and the other realms were particularly thin, he challenged Mephisto and his forces for a chance to free his mother's soul, but he never won. He could never defeat Mephisto on his own. Now, since WandaVision is seemingly introducing this demon Mephisto, and as we learned at the very end of episode 3 of WandaVision, this does take place during the actual modern time in the MCU, most likely in the year 2023 or 2024 based off of when Avengers Endgame happened, this means that Doctor Doctor Doom is most likely an adult, which means his mother has already been captured by Mephisto and her soul is in Mephisto's realm. So the coming of Mephisto in WandaVision and the introduction of actual witches in the show sets up Doctor Doom and his mother, Cynthia Von Doom. Not to mention, several months ago there was a report that said we will see Doomstat in WandaVision. Doomstat is the capital of Latveria and where Doctor Doom was born. 
But this isn't the only setup that Doctor Doom is going to have. We know that WandaVision is going to tie directly into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Wanda could even be the villain, at least for some time. She won't be the main villain, but she might be a villain at first. But Mephisto is still going to be around during Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. In fact, he's probably going to be one of the main big bads of not only Phase 4, but also possibly Phase 5. Now, Doctor Strange, of course, has a lot of ties to Mephisto, but Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom together have big ties with Mephisto. Mephisto as a group. As I mentioned, Doctor Doom could never defeat Mephisto's forces to get his mother's soul back until he won a favor from Doctor Strange and he used that favor to ask him to help retrieve his mother's soul. The two of them battled their way through Mephisto's demons until ultimately finding him, in which Victor Von Doom at that time made a deal with Mephisto to give him Doctor Strange in return for his mother's freedom. Mephisto agreed and Doom captured Doctor Strange and gave him to Mephisto. However, when his mother learned the price that Victor had to pay for her soul, she rejected him, denouncing him as a traitor. And then her soul was once again trapped by Mephisto. However, this was actually a trap by Doctor Doom and Doctor Strange. All along, Victor had provided Doctor Strange with a device to free himself from his bonds, allowing him to escape, in which Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom continued to fight Mephisto. And during this battle, Mephisto accidentally ended up freeing the soul of Cynthia Von Doom. And after rejecting her son's attempted rescue, she had earned her redemption so her soul was free to go on to a better afterlife. So Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom had a full-on battle with Mephisto, and it looks like Mephisto was going to tie into heavily into WandaVision and then in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And as I mentioned, since Victor Von Doom is most likely an adult in the Marvel Cinematic Universe at this point, his mother is most likely already captured and kept in the Hell Dimension where Mephisto is. And Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios, did say that there is going to be a mystery character in Doctor Strange 2. And all he told us about the character is that it's somebody that Marvel has always wanted to use and that audiences won't be expecting their debut. Well, Marvel couldn't actually use Doctor Doom in the past due to the Fox rights, so Doctor Doom could very well be somebody that Marvel has always wanted to use, but couldn't. And since Doctor Doom is so heavily tied to the Fantastic Four, I don't think any of the fans are expecting him to debut in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, except for me because I made this theory. So it is possible that we could see Doctor Doom debut in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness since everything is going to be crazy in that movie. Now ultimately, if this would happen, it's just going to be a cameo, a setup. We will most likely see Doctor Doom as a main villain in Black Panther 2. This is not confirmed yet, but in a couple of different reports from Fandom Wire and Charles Murphy at murphysmultiverse.com, they have stated that Doctor Doom is going to be a villain in Black Panther 2. And we could be seeing the story of Doom War. Now, Doom War is a story that could fit quite well into Black Panther 2. T'Challa has lost the throne of Wakanda, but Storm, who is his wife at the time, is on trial for practicing witchcraft, which has a connection to Doctor Doom. Meanwhile, Doctor Doom is attempting to crack into the vault in Wakanda that contains vibranium. The reason that he wants the vibranium is a secret that nobody else knows about, and that is that it can amplify mystical energies and its effects are infinite. With the vibranium, it would essentially make Doctor Doom unstoppable. And this is a storyline that we could see in Black Panther 2 and perhaps he wants that vibranium so he can go and fight Mephisto. Since he fails multiple times to get his mother's soul back, perhaps he thinks the vibranium will help him finally defeat the demon. Now, of course, this is going to be a huge story and the debut of Doctor Doom is going to be absolutely insane and it looks like Marvel Studios may not want to make Doom just a Fantastic Four villain because typically that is who he is associated with. After all, in every single live action Fantastic Four movie we've had, Doctor Doom has been in it. So making him a villain that is not connected to the Fantastic Four at first could actually be a really good idea, but of course we know that eventually he will become the villain for the Fantastic Four in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And then ultimately, I think he will go on to become God Emperor Doom. But that will be way down the line when the Secret War story finally comes to light. Now, the Fantastic Four are most likely going to debut in Ant-Man 3 before their own solo film. They might mention Doctor Doom in Ant-Man 3, but I think in the actual movie is when they're going to take on Doom. Perhaps with the help of some other heroes, because I think from the very start in WandaVision, they are setting up Doom to be a main big bad of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If I hear more about Dr. Doom's debut, I will be sure to let you know, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news. Be sure to let me know what you think about this video in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video, and for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.